have a dream That's all I need I'll make it happen with some work and belief Let's say we have a consultant agreement and um, in the consultant agreement some things are not specified that means we have a really big agreement and it's not specified and we need to get some things clear so how does it work you and me so this is you we have the contract in here and this is me right so we have a contract in here says a lot of things about consulting what I'm going to provide or not but it can also be that we don't have a contract you and me there's no contract we don't have a contract or anything so but you want me to give you some advice about certain kind of things I can send you an email I want to provide you these services you need to pay me this All right I need to be specific what I'm going to provide and how much it's going to cost. And if you agree upon it, you can send a confirmation. I agree with this email. And this will be the contract. Yep. This is a kind of agreement letter. So in that letter, you will put the service that you're going to provide, how long, the payment, and if they want to terminate the service, you can also put that in it so in this case i will put all those things in the letter it can be an email or just a normal letter you can agree what on it or not this is the agreement letter yep here if i have a contract and let's say you something is not clear in the contract you can send me a letter and tell me that this is what you get out of the agreement. This is what you understand out of the agreement. Or you can ask me for specific um, for clarification. And then if I sent you a letter with confirmation, this is a letter agreement. And if I sent you back with confirmation, it's good to go. We have a new agreement. And if I sent you a letter with everything explained and you agree upon it, then this is also agreement letter. So you see, agreement letter can be really complicated, but technically it's just ask you for clarification or confirmation. That's something. That's like it. So that's how it works for consultant agreement. Let's look at another one. Let's say we have a project agreement. Most of the time when people create a project agreement, they do not put on how long this project is going to take or the timeline or um, how much is gonna cost specific it's just gonna tell you okay it's gonna cost you this much hour and who's responsible for this or that in that case so let's say you have a project manager and you have a client normally they have a contract and the contract everything is specific and they agree upon it but sometimes you want to know okay responsibility we don't have that in a contract you as a client you can send the project manager a letter to give you some clarification about the responsibilities but if you don't have a contract you have a let's say you want someone to do something for your project you can create a letter tell them what they want what you want them to do for you and they will tell you the price and then if you agree upon it, then this is an agreement, so an agreement letter. Yeah. So here we have the same situation, P and C, project manager and C, that, but here we don't have an, um, an agreement. Here we do have an agreement. So here you ask for clarification. Here you ask for confirmation if they agree with the price or the agreement or not. Then you have an agreement letter. If you understand it if you have question about it, just go on the discord and ask me directly if you have question about everything anything that i discuss you can just go here on the link you can go to the law center you will come in the discord and on the discord i will try to help you as soon as possible so that's about it for project manager so technically everything works like that let's see what more do we have yeah 
so let's say we have yeah let's say we have a financial agreement letter so how does it work let's see um yeah i see how it goes let's say you are let me see if i can change this let's say you need to visit the hospital and the insurance doesn't cover everything so this is you you need to visit the hospital the insurance doesn't cover everything the problem is you have a contract with the with the hospital or with the doctor doesn't matter insurance cover let's say 80 percent and you need to pay the 20 percent right but you don't have the money now but you still have an agreement with the doctor or the hospital doesn't matter in this case so what you can do is you can you can ask them to pay it in uh, in terms you can get an, a new agreement and it's agreement about the payment and you say okay i will pay it in terms right as soon as you sign this you have a new agreement but you can also get an agreement letter because you're not at the hospital agreement letter they say you can pay it in terms as soon as you send the letter back or something back and you confirm it this is an agreement and this is an agreement on how you're gonna pay the rest of the price for the doctor so this is agreement for the financial so what I'm saying is let's say you have an agreement with the hospital doctor insurance cover 80% you need to pay the rest of the cost 20% you can sign an agreement at the hospital or they can send you a letter with confirmation how you can pay it in terms and you need to confirm it as soon as you confirm it this is an agreement letter yeah so how do they call this this is a uh, financial agreement letter because it's about paying it's not about the, um, the agreement but it's about agreements about paying how you're gonna pay when you're going to pay that's how it works with this one i have a dream that's all i need i'll make it happen with some work and belief know what i want so i'll take it on i made mistakes but mistakes make you strong let's break it down for a minute i want the crown i'm gonna get it you hear me loud man i'm winning yeah charlie sheen will be great